Mobad was buried alive. Hi guys, you welcome back again to my page MJ Fun TV. Currently trending on social media is this particular video that we have all seen where Mobad was lying down on the car seat just few minutes after he was um declared dead when a video was posted on Instagram. One of his friend or someone was crying. We didn't really take a very closer look at that video, but if you look at it, you see his neck move. If you look closely, you see his neck moved in this same video. More reports are confirming that Mobad could actually still be alive and he was actually buried alive because he actually moved in that video like you saw. Meanwhile, Mobad's father was the one that buried him immediately after he died. He didn't even go to the mortuary or anything and there was not really a confirmed report that Mobad was actually dead. Meanwhile, his friend also confirmed on Instagram when he posted a video saying that Mobad's father wanted to rush and bury Mobad the same night he died. And it was him that convinced him to bury Mobad the next morning. Don't forget, Mobad is not a Muslim to bury immediately. He's a Christian. So this is so weird. This is what he had to say. Listen to his video. <laughs> Fans on social media are beginning to speak out. Most celebrities are already speaking out because this is actually getting more strange than we expected. Mobad's father wanted to bury Mobad the same day he died, the midnight. He died on an evening and the man wanted to bury Mobad immediately at midnight, you know, without the presence of anyone at all, not even his mother or anybody. It was this man that said he convinced him to bury Mobad in the daytime the next day, just like they eventually did. Now, Mobad was not taken to the mortuary or anything. And people are now beginning to say that Mobad could actually still be alive and they buried him alive. Recall that on our previous post, we posted an interview that Mobad's father granted where he was saying that he don't believe anybody killed his son and he doesn't believe anything happened to his son like the general public is saying. He was actually claiming that Mobad died a normal death. And we all know that Mobad is just 27. Sorry, he was just 27 because he's late now. He was just 27 and nobody dies really at 27 and you call it a natural death. So the father was all saying that um, Naira Mali and his boys, Sam Larry and Co, were trying to teach Mobad a lesson of how to be a strong boy. And they were really not going to kill him. That it was just normal, you know, that was just what the man was saying. And people were so disappointed because your son has been complaining terribly about this same gang oppressing him. And he didn't even do anything about it. And now the boy is late. Even though we can see now that, you know, the evidence actually are more than we thought. When he was still alive, it was just a few videos that was released. Now that he's late, more videos are beginning to come out. But we all can clearly see that he really suffered. He went through a lot. So if we all are feeling really sad for everything that happened to him, why can't his father even feel more as a father, you know? Instead, he's busy granting interview back to back, saying that um, he doesn't believe that Naramali did anything. And on top of it, he also granted another interview where he was saying that his property, where he's living, he's just managing. That um, the two million naira the video gave to him, it was only one million naira that got to his hand. That this is the house where he's living, a celebrity father, and this is the car that he's using, pickup, I mean, and what he was just complaining, lamenting. Everything he was saying was all boiling down to money and um property. Mobad left his belongings and property and everything under his son's, son's name, his five month old son, and his wife is the one in, in control of everything. He was just complaining about property and this, blah blah blah. And you know, this was so unbelievable. So his fans, Mobad's fans, were so disappointed, and everyone was like. I really don't want to have such a father. So it was so sad, you know. Not until this his friend posted this video not long ago, just a few hours ago. His friend posted this video just a few hours ago. And in the video, you can hear him saying that he was the one that convinced Mobad's father not to bury him. Immediately he died, you know. Mobad died on a Sunday evening. And the man wanted to bury him immediately that same midnight. 
even without his mother, without anybody. He convinced Mobat's father to bury him the next morning. It's so heartbreaking and people are beginning to wonder if this man actually knows something that we don't know. Because it's obvious that there are really, you know, there's a lot going on. A lot more than we are thinking. Because everything is all looking awkward now. And him granting interview back to back, he's not even anywhere looking like he's mourning. Or even if he's not looking it, most people don't mourn and show it. But at least the things he's saying is not really pleasant to the ear. From complaining about property, assets, and then he start talking about your current condition, how your son did not give you that and that. A few minutes ago, you, he will be saying that he visited Mobad, Mobad gave him food, served him, gave him money, saw him off and all of that. Then the next video, you see him saying that this is where he is, his house is like this, this is the guy he's managing, blah, blah, blah. Mobad's uh, wife is with everything. So people are now wondering, what exactly does he want? Is he after the property or after justice for his son? Because it now seems like we, the general public, we are actually the one really seeking for justice for Mobad more than his father, who is supposed to be the, you know, the one carrying this matter on his head. But he's not. Instead, he's relaxed, saying that he don't believe anybody killed his son and the rest. So, looking all weird. Now, these videos coming out that he, he was trying to bury Moba the same midnight he died and rushing everything. It's looking really suspicious, actually. So, there was a video where he was also with the police when they were doing some interview and interrogation, questioning and all of that. He was also in that video. He was shaking. People were wondering, why is this man shaking? Like, he was really shaking in that video. We also posted it earlier. But then all these things, we didn't really notice it at first until now that people are beginning to point it out. We went back to these videos that we are seeing everything and it's clear. And that video where Mobad's um, head was moving, his neck was mov moving. So it was actually moving, you know. We actually saw that video earlier, but we, we didn't really notice that. But if you go back and look at that video, you see that Mobad's neck was actually moving. Probably he was actually not really dead like we were thinking. So we don't know who confirmed him dead. Like, which hospital did they take him to? Because Moba didn't even go to mortuary or anything. No. They just buried him. Few few minutes after they said he's dead. Before you know it, they already planning to bury him. The next morning, they have buried him. Who confirmed him dead? Which hospital did they take him to? Who is the nurse that they said actually gave him injection? All of these questions are left unanswered. I don't understand or know what Nigerian police are doing, but they said they are working on it. They are doing this, they are doing that. We haven't heard anything from them yet. They said they went to, they wanted to go and um, dig up um, the grave and bring out Mobad and do some autopsy and all of that. But they haven't done any of that yet. They said they are waiting for a letter of um, authorization before they do any of that. So we are still hoping and waiting for that at the moment. Seriously, this is really getting more critical than we thought. And it's really deep. If you really look closely, you see that this is actually more deep than we have been saying. Alright, whoever this person is, they need to bring him in for serious questioning. Number one, I need to know where he carried Mobad from. Who told him Mubad was dead and what they told him killed Mubad that made him confirm Mubad was dead. Secondly, from the video, you would tell that it's, it's inside the car, they are driving, but there's no any other person around him. So it's just him. It's a simple question. Who told him Mubad was is, is dead? Where did he carry Mubad from and what killed Mubad? What the person that told him Mubad is dead? What did the person tell him that killed Mubad? That he confirmed that Mubad was dead understand that's number one number two i said something about the wife and i said dna a lot of people are calling me insensitive but in the case of murder there's nothing like insensitive everybody is a suspect everybody is a suspect in a murder case especially the ones that are doing pity pity i understand a lot of you are sentimental and then you people like to do pity 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 but then again if you listen to mobile lyrics listen to this song <laughs> Alright, 
So, first of all, I think he did that song when he was still in Malia record. If you listen to the lyrics properly, it started with then they said something and then I heard Ophimisile. I think something like Ophimisile. Ophimisile means um, you left me alone. Iawomi, you left me alone. Now, moving on to the lyrics, you understand? You get the part where he said, you see, say I know they see. You see, say I know they hear. There's so many gists. Do you understand? There's so many gists. Then he said, which kind of person be this? Do you understand? Now, that's aside. Now, on the next verse, he started talking about his frenemies. After he has called his wife, Yaomi, there's something. Let's push that aside. Secondly, there's also a voice um, recording between Mubad and his wife. Listen to the voice. Mm. Alright, so you heard what he said. He said, uh, if you buy me, also you go still buy my family too. You understand? That's him talking to his wife. Now, what am I trying to say? This voice note is equivalent to what he said that if anything happens to him, they should hold Neramali Amalian record responsible. Now, I am not saying the wife did anything, but I'm saying we should not close the search only on the Malian record. Anything can happen. This is a murder case for crying out loud. A lot of names are involved. You understand? Already, like I said before, they've already finished that boy mentally because couple with the videos I've been seeing online beating the boy, harassing him, just doing the boy anyhow. The boy's mental health was already gone. The boy had it was just a walking dead. He even get music like that. It was just a walking dead. A lot of people would also take advantage of all those kinds. It is possible, my brother. I don't know why now it is okay. I did insensitive. This is not about being insensitive. This is all about let us think outside the box. Anything is possible. We are all working for justice. You understand? It's not as if I am talking because they want to talk. We are all working for justice. Mostly think outside the box. Think outside the box. Don't play. We will get justice. And they will learn. Whoever is into this thing, God will judge you. You understand? We'll get justice. Amen, somebody. Yeah. I am here today to rejoice my testimony. The Lord has been so good to me. He makes me the light that refuses to dim. So looking back to where I am, from to where I am now, I feel blessed. Thank you so much for watching this video. For daily entertainment, news, and celebrity good and bad updates, and all you need to know that's happening in the country, don't forget to hit this red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to always stay connected to us. One love and God bless you all. Don't forget to thumbs up to this video and comment down below what you think about this.